Corin's been struck with a revelation, ladies and gentlemen, and they've decided it's time to soak the Smash scene. With the blood of the first dragons coursing through their veins and the Omega Yato chipping away in their charge, Corin can shift and slash in a similar fashion to their fate's fights. The corkscrew spin from their dash attack comes from offensive skills like Luna, while a few smashes, standards, and specials take their cues from the Dragon Fang ability, turning their hand into a draconic mouth and a few limbs into lances. Counter Surge originally just bore a resemblance to their critical hit pose in Ultimate's predecessors, but it was later featured in Fire Emblem Heroes as a canonical technique. Torrential Roar, on the other hand, has no roots beyond simply expanding on Corrin's watery nature. Now when it comes to garbs, their primary palettes reference the Nor Prince and Princess designs, and the last color scheme captures an air of Norbility. It might be Corrin's royal birthright to join the battle, but as you can see from their shifty strategies, they're set on nothing short of conquest. Hey there, pal. Thanks for watching. How do you feel about Corrin as a fighter? I think they boast some pretty creative moves and stand out as one of the finest Fire Emblem reps on the roster, but I'm keen to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, so be sure to let me know. And don't forget to share the video with a buddy too. You know the drill.